so today we are demonstrating how to make a graph for acl this is the peroneus longus so peroneus longus we have harvested already and now we will prepare the graph for the acl how to prepare this so just keep it moist don't wet the graft otherwise it will swell up and it will increase the size of the graft and soon in the after the surgery inside the body it will shrink so it will cause decrease the strength the next step is to remove all the muscle tissue the muscle which is attached to the tendon the peroneus longus you need to remove the entire muscle because if the muscle is remain muscle remain attached to the graft attached to the tendon then it will lead to decrease bonding between the bone and the tendon so this is the foremost important step yes to remove the entire muscle from the tendon so with the help of a scale or back of the knife you can just remove the tissue so these are all the muscular tissue which has been removed from the tendon and it should be the pure tendinous and the remaining muscle can be removed with the help of a knife and only just wet the just only keep the moist the tendon to avoid the drying of the tendon tissue and the second thing is important that we have taken in the in this saline mixed with vancomycin powder so any antibiotic you can take we usually prefer vancomycin or cefiroxim or gentamicin whatever whichever antibiotic has the local effect you can take in order to prevent the surgical site infection during the surgery infection risk decreases so if you see that the entire muscle tissue has been removed now the next step is to measure the length of the tendon so we will just shave off the we will just remove the frayed tissue on the side of this because these forms this tissue and the excess tissue this forms a bulging at the end of the ligament so remove the excess tissue and on this side so this is the acl graft preparation board in this we have the board and along with this there is a scale mark you can check that this length is almost up to 32 mm so we can cut off this excess part and up to 28 we can take so that you get a uniform width of the ligament width of the graft so we have removed the excess tissue now this looks good and now we will prepare it with a methy bond or fiber wire you may take so any of the thread you can take both has its own advantages and disadvantages so from one side i will be taking on to like this and with the other hand i will be having the athi bond number 5 so this is the athi bond number 5 to make it easier you can just clip this and over the one end of the graft board and then you have to take the bite like a craco stitch now there are two schools of thought you can take directly in a continuous fashion the bite in a continuous fashion or 
second is you may take you know uh, locking configuration but i feel the locking configuration is quite strangulating to the tendon so it is better to take it in a continuous fashion so just around 4 to 5 stitches you will need to take from one end and then you will move to the opposite side like this and now we will take this end too so one side we have covered it we have uh, half side tendon has already been stitched and we fold this and on one side i have made a loop the loop of the tendon keep it moist so that it doesn't get dry side we have already taken it and from opposite side now we will incorporate the other end too into the same and in a similar fashion we will take the stitches in a continuous fashion from this end towards the end हम्म एक मिनट हाँ एक मिनट बता रहे now i have removed the artery and the entire tissue is now being made in a like a loop so we have created a loop from this tendon has been made so we have made the tendon into a double stranded now now we will take another thread like a loop and we will make this into a 
quadrupled. Now this is a quadrupled graph which has been prepared. So this is four strand that is the quadruple and we will take the length of this graph. So this quadrupled length is around seven. So that is good. So we have the graph length was 28 centimeter. So in a quadrupled it is coming out to be seven and it is a quite a thick graph. So this is the size of the graph how to size this graph. So this is six, seven, eight, nine. Let's see. Let's check with a 10 mm. So this is going freely with a 10 mm. Let's check with a 9 mm. So this is quite good. So the graph diameter is 9 mm. If I check with 8, this is not going very difficult. So it should move, it should pass freely with slight resistance. This is the graph size is 9, the diameter is 9 mm and the length is 7 cm. So convey this to your surgeon. The graph diameter is 9, length is 7 cm. Graph diameter 9 length is 7 cm? Yes. Same, 9 by 7. 9 7 uniform. uniform. Thank you, sir. So now this gives an impression to the cell tunnel. So this will be helpful at this stage to make the tibial tunnel and the femoral tunnel. Simultaneously, this goes on goes hand in hand. Now the next step is to put the graft under tension. So we have taken this loop on this side and this is a graft tensioning device we have taken onto this and on the opposite side just clip these at the end so that this doesn't injure the threads in the middle and just loop it around. There are different tensioning devices which are available depending on company to company. So just you give the tension or kitchen or and then you tighten this so this gives an adequate tensioning and then you will just wet the gauge piece with the antibiotic soaked saline and you just put it over it so now this graft is ready for the suspensory fixation in the femoral as well as the tibial because the graft length is 7 we have taken the quadruple very strong 9 centimeter peroneus longest tendon so this will be fixed on the femoral side with the endo button adjustable endo button and on the tibial side it will be fixed with a t button or suture disc so this completes the graft preparation